Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over uh, precondition functions. And preconditions are a way to enforce that something is true when uh, writing your business logic. And if it's not true, you can set up an error message. So I just created a custom API endpoint here. I named it precondition. And it's just to get a record in my merchants table for my deals app. Um, so if I go ahead and run this, you see it takes the ID as an input and go ahead and put ID one in and you see we get our response uh, back correctly. But let's say I want to go back and put in a ID number that doesn't exist, let's say 55. So when I run this, it says a success, everything ran successfully and the result is null. But I don't have a 55th record, so that's kind of weird. Um, and that's because we don't have any sort of precondition enforcing that um, this function is true. So, so I can hit this plus button and go into utility functions and right at the top I'll find precondition. So when I click precondition, we'll see we can set the conditions that must be true. And we do that right here where this pencil or pen is. So if I click onto that and I'll say where my variable merchants1, which I'm getting returned, does not equal, and I'll say in this case, null. I'll go ahead and update that, and then we can give it an error message. We can also do a different error type here. There's not found, access denied. I'm just gonna leave it as standard, and I'll say uh, this record does not exist. I'll go ahead and hit save. And now when I go ahead and run that, so first let's do a record that does exist. So record two, I run that, we get Splash Cafe back, all is good. Now if I wanna do a record that doesn't exist, say 23, well here we actually get an error and here's my message saying this record does not exist. So that's a way to enforce that this statement is true um, so that we're aware of what the error is and what's occurring.